The device is ticking and is about to go up. A plastic bomb-like toy that players try to defuse before time runs out. Trust me, it's so much fun. Yep, it's really fun. <laughs> Online toy reviewers, often given toys by the manufacturer for free, seem to like it. Okay, so we're still in the game. But this London, Ontario mom saw it on display at her local Walmart and thinks the game is a bust. Who made the decision to take a bomb that's dangerous, uh, put it in a pretty little box with a family playing with it, and put it on a shelf? It's desensitizing our children to what's dangerous. She posted about it on Facebook and so have other bewildered shoppers. In the US, Target stopped stocking it. It says it takes customer feedback seriously and work to remove this item from our assortment. Walmart Canada says it appreciates the concerns raised regarding the toy and that it didn't intend to offend anyone by carrying it. The game is still for sale here and at other Walmart locations in Canada, but the company says once its stock runs out, it won't order any more. It's either an appropriate toy or it's an inappropriate toy. This retail consultant and former toy buyer says Walmart's response falls short. Bombs are associated with terrorism and war. There's really no other way to say it. Um, and I think it's just, it's, it's, it's sad and I think it's, it's just completely inappropriate um, for really any retailer to sell this. He says that while some Canadians may not yeah. take issue with the toy, retailers should remove it rather than risk upsetting any customers. I don't want to shop there, period, anymore. Like the decision makers are clearly missing something. CBC reached out to Yulu, the company that makes the game, about the concerns, but it has not responded. Jacqueline Hansen, CBC News, London, Ontario.